hello friends so today i'm going to demonstrate how to uh, calculate the eliza titer so yeah th this printed excel sheet here i have uh, drawn uh, and this is my negative control so i have taken uh, six numbers of the negative control od so it's a control serum i have taken and this is the od value of my sample serum sample so i've done the indirect elisa and this is the dilution of the serum one is 200 one is to 200 one is to 400 like that so now first of all we are required to find out what is the cutoff value so cutoff value we will determine using the the software that is called r studio so i have already installed the r software and now uh, i installed the r studio also so i will demonstrate how to do it in the r studio so let us open the r studio so this is the r studio so here the cutoff value will be determined using the method described by frey et al 1998 so it was a paper in the journal of immunological methods it was a paper of 1998 so what we are to do simply this is the r script i have developed and uh, the link to this r script it is present in the description box you can just click it and you can download this r script so but uh, before using this particular r script you will have to download the r uh, software program and then the install the R studio and then you can use it so first of all what you will have to do we will have to select the values of the negative control so I have six values of the negative serum or the negative control so I just copy it so remember you should not copy the header so energy negative control i have written that you should not copy you should copy only the values so i've copied the six values and then thereafter what i will have to do i'll have to select the all the commands so i'll go to edit and uh, here i think there is no select all command okay no issues what I can do is that I can just select it by my mouse pointer and then click here run so when I click here run then you can just drag it so here at this point I got the cutoff value so my cutoff value comes out to be 0 0.192 so my cutoff value is 0 0.192 now my next aim is to determine the titer how much is the titer so conventional method says that uh, the titer is that value uh, or that dilution of the serum in which uh, we got the minimum dilution of the serum in which we got the signal so in this case if we just look into it so this value 0.15 is less than the cutoff value that means we would take this as a point or the last end point so we take 800 as the tighter but there are a lot of drawbacks in this case supposing that your od is 0.324 and another sample your od is say 0.4 so in both the cases the value of the title will be 800 so but there won't be any any difference in the title always in the white difference in the only values but this will give you the same value of the title and uh, that case in this particular system uh, it will be difficult to go for the statistical analysis so for this what we do we use the method that that is called regression analysis we use the regression analysis so for this what we will do we go to the r program and for this 
I have developed one R script. So in this R script, what is to be done? You see one cutoff value. Just you have to write the value of the cutoff. So if I go back to my Excel sheet, so our cutoff value that we determined by earlier uh, R script, it was 0 0.192. So I would add it here, 0 0.192. I've added and thereafter what is to be done simply I will have to select I'll have to select but remember you should not select the header you should select only the values select the values and then copy it and after copying it select all the commands here and then click run so once we click run over here so this is the console part of the R so we just drag it up so this is the summary of our regression so the first regression these are the commands and the first regression that we got this is the regression of the dilution and the OD value that we have incorporated over here. So we are to see the P value. Then secondly, we are to see the multiple R square value. Now in both the cases, the R square value should be above 0 0.7. It is 0 0.118. And the P value should be less than 0 0.05 but here it is more than 0 0.05 so this particular regression it is a failed regression so we cannot take it now we go to the second one this is the log regression so this is the log regression we have done so in this case what we observe is that the p value is less than 0 0.05 right the p value is less than 0.05 and the r square value is 0.6 so this also we cannot take because although the p value is less than 0.05 so it is okay but the problem is with the r square value r square value is very less it should be above 0.7 so we cannot take this regression this regression the log regression also we cannot take now we scroll down if you scroll down here, what we find is the reciprocal regression. So reciprocal regression, what we found is that p value is this value 3.213 e minus 12. It, this is the language of the computer. This means 3. Point, p value is 3.213 3 times. 10 raised to power minus 12 so the p value is very very less so it is uh, the, the this uh, regression has satisfied our p value apart from that if we look into the r square value it is 0.99 it's very good because we want it more than 0.7 it is 0.9 it's excellent so now we will use this particular regression as a correct regression and then if we go downside this value this value is our tighter so our tighter is 1274 so this is what is our tighter value thank you very much for watching this and uh, as far as our r scripts are concerned so these two r scripts i have developed one is this one is for eliza cutoff value and this is for determination of eliza now sometimes your this is if you look into this particular command so here I put the, the, the dilution from 100 to 2000, uh, 24, 800. So 
up to this I have put the dilution if in your ELISA your dilution is less so in that case you can cut supposing that your dilution is up to 6400 only then all these things you can just delete you can just delete and then you can use this program else if you have the if I use the ELISA plate up to this point up to 12th point so no problem you can use it as such thank you very much for watching this video if you have any question you can put your question in the uh, comment box thank you